30. And I want our value to be 1. So we're pretty much at this point. And that's probably, actually, let me stand a little bit. Okay. So let's, we can close this up now. And essentially what's going to happen is, as you can see, our animated stuff that we've actually made with our speed daemon, most of the simulation is all at 16, so it's not going to affect our particles at all. But then when we get down to sort of the end of the keyframes, the speed daemon is going to start slowing down particles, which is what we want. And because um, we don't want these shuddering around, shimmering, doing some crazy stuff, we just want to slow these particles down. Okay, now the other thing that we're probably going to want is I'm betting when we pick up this bottle, we're going to get a lot of downforce on these particles that are going to make those explode. So what I'm going to want to do in here is I'm going to throw in a drag force demon. And I am going to turn this to a value of 0.3. And I want it to be bounding. So I have square. And I'm going to go in and let's look at our top view here. Let's sort of get this into place. Oops. See our gizmo here. It's kind of a pain. There we go. And let's just sort of resize this a little bit. We don't need it to be huge. And great. Let's go in our side view. Sort of take a look at what we've got here. And we're going to want to make this a little taller. And that's probably good. Probably pretty good for what I want. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to parent this to our bottle. So our bottle should be line 6. So let's go grab that. So now if we simulate our speed or our uh, drag force demon should go with our bottle. And kind of sort of help us out with not too many exploding particles. Now, this doesn't look exactly where I want it. Let's just get it right there. And, yeah, that's probably good. Let me just check in the top view make sure we're okay. Yeah, not too bad. All right, so I think we're good and almost ready to simulate this thing. So let's start this thing going, and we'll see sort of so I want to hide this glass as well. I want to sort of look at this as we're going along. All right, so the only thing we should need to see is our particles. So we're going to start. Actually, one thing that I probably did before I came back was now that our particles have finally settled and everything like that, I want to turn on initial state, and I want to save this as an initial state. And then I want to go down and make sure that this is turned on, then I'm going to reset. And now that should be our initial state for our particles. Now that we're ready to run this simulation, we can unlock our timeline. And we are ready to go. So I'm just going to start simulating this, and we'll see what happens. It's probably going to take quite a long time to run this simulation. So we'll come back and check it out later. Okay, so I paused our simulation here. Um, let's sort of look at what we have so far. So we do start off, and as this sort of simulates, th we're getting this sort of what I talked about, where we're getting a lot of movement in these particles. Now, if we didn't have this drag force demon in here, it definitely would push down to probably about here. And then as it goes up, it would just release, and we would almost get to the top of our bottle. So the drag force demon is sort of doing its job. It's uh, slowing down what it can out of here, and we are going to get some movement out of our, our particles themselves. So now we start to, let's see, we have one little guy escaping here. So let's just make sure that it does end up dying off. And it doesn't. So that's a big issue. So for the rest of our simulation, we definitely do not want to have this thing go off forever. So we want to make sure that that gets killed off or it's just going to take a while for our simulation to finish. Uh, let's take a look at our glass. And we're sort of getting a nice effect here of fluids running in. 
for our uh, our liquids here. I kind of like that. So we're getting a nice splash. Uh, one issue that we are having is as our bottle tips back, we tend to have still pours for quite a bit. And this is a problem right here. So we need to cut off our particles. And since there's that um, sort of top on the bottle, we're never going to be able to really see that area. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually put an object in here to sort of cut these off. So let's get a plane in here. And let's, let's get a plane and I'm going to bring this up and Let's see, we're going to need to rotate this around, and let's resize this guy. Okay, that should be good. Side window here. And let's see. All right, so we're going to want to animate this. Let's see where we want to sort of cut this off. Okay, so we pour here. Actually, our plane's going to be in the way. We've got to make sure that we start up here. Okay, so we pour. And as our bottle starts to tilt back, probably here, I want to start lowering this plane. So let's add a keyframe, or just go down here. I'm going to hit K, add position key. And then at about there, I want to add another position key. And let's sort of look at, let's go down to our node of this. Let's open, oh, let's open our curve editor. And I believe it's position, position Z that I want to work with. So let's open the curve editor. And let's see what we got here. Oh, I didn't move our uh, thing here, so let's move this down. And now we have it. Sorry about that. So uh, let's go to position Z, open curve, and let's fit to screen. And let's see what we got here. So we want to. Oops, turn this to Bezier mode. And let's sort of make this a slight close up here. Let's see what we got. So if we turn back, that should be cutting off our particles pretty well. So we'll see how that works. Now the other thing I want to add is sort of how we start off this thing. We're getting a little variation here, but I want to sort of sculpt this so it's not such a constant flow here. I want to sort of make, you know, break up what we have going on here. So for that, I'm actually going to put in a small cube. And let's get this over here. And let's sort of see where our bottle comes up. And let's resize this cube down. I want it to be pretty small. And let's unhide our bottle as well. Oops. And that should be good. And what I want to do is I want to put a position key in here. So let's add a position key. And then somewhat right here, let's add a position key. And we'll move this up. Actually, let's scale this just a little more. And about here, let's add another position key. And let's figure on moving this back down again. Let's actually get it way out of the way. Let's just sort of look at our box, make sure that it's not completely, yeah, it might be a little high. So, well, anyway, let's open our curve editor, and we're also working in the Z, so let's open up that, and let's make this a little bigger, and 
fit. Let's look at this key here. 